Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my VI Peel VI Peel experience. Um, today's Tuesday the 14th. I went ahead and got it done today. I was originally gonna schedule it for two weeks from now. So I went in for a pumpkin peel today, but we went ahead and did my actual like VI peel, which is what I paid for. Yeah, so I was um, going in for my pumpkin peel, but after consulting with the doctor, she um, she asked me like if I mind peeling during the week, cause you start to peel like your entire face, like pretty much like a snake. Um, and I told her I didn't really mind. <sighs> Cause I mean, I work in an office and it's just like the same people. So I was like, what are they going to say that I'm peeling? So, um, yeah, I told her, Hey, you know what? Let's just do it today. So we went ahead and did it today. And I'm supposed to start peeling probably tomorrow or Thursday afternoon. Um, so I'm gonna, like, take footage of me peeling the whole process so you guys can see. But yeah, I'm so excited to, like, see my skin clear up. And, yeah. Yeah, I was so orange today. I was driving home and people were staring. They were probably like, oh my god, her makeup does not match her neck. But... And they're probably just like, dang, she got a really bad tan. Mm, but whatever. It's worth it. But yeah. So it did sting. Like, from a scale from 1 to 5. At some point in time, it was a 5. But I think I just have really sensitive skin. And it's kind of irritated right now. Like, I have, like, red... But, I mean, if it's going to work. So, if you guys are interested, I have a spot you guys can go to. And they do, like, a bunch of different stuff. They do, like, laser hair removal, Botox. They do, um, lip injections. I'm thinking of doing that next. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, but, um, so I just washed my face. So, I went and got it done at 5. And then, I came home. It was about 6 or so. And then she told me to wash my, like, rinse my face off with, like, cold water. Around 8.30ish. And then wipe it with, like, one of these little towels that they provide for you. Um, and then after that, right before I went to bed, she asked me to wash it with some little cleanser thing. With this little cleanser thing. I don't know if you can read that. Um, so that was the process for today. And then, um, wipe it down with a little towel again. With another towel. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm going to be cleansing again and then applying the... Um, post peel protectant and then I need to wear SPF 50 sunblock so I have to wear that and it, the instructions say um, wear, put, apply it every 2 hours every 2 to 4 hours or as needed because I'm going to be like itchy and I guess once you start to peel like your face um, feels irritated so we'll see once I start peeling but I'm so excited um, but yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys, like, um, when I start to peel and stuff. So, you guys can see the process. Well, I'm gonna sleep, so good night, guys.
your chest is it getting worse? Your acne? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that can happen. You're in good hands. The next treatment that you should probably look into is microneedling. Because these, that's what this, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to start applying. How are you doing? It's fine. On a scale of one to five, what's it at? You too. Um, if the hydrocortisone is not enough to, for your um, itchiness or uncomfortable, if you get more uncomfortable in the peeling, mm -hmm. I use. Um, Aquaphor. I'll show you where you are. It's like you can get it at CVS or Rite Aid. It's like a Vaseline, <coughs> mm -hmm. but it's not petroleum. It's aqua based. It's called aquaphor. Okay. Okay, so it's day three of my peel, and I'm starting to peel. <laughs> and I also washed my face this morning, and then it just started. So we'll see how long I'm going to peel for. It says three to seven days. I'm not supposed to pull on it, but it gives me... Anxiety, but yeah, so I'm at work now. I just washed my face and it seems to be worse. Definitely peeling. And you know why I think it burned? Because I was pulling it. Day three. Pizza. Day four.
You can't really even tell I'm peeling. It's just really dry. Should I record you? <laughs> just kidding. Night four. Yes. Night. Day five. You can't even see the peeling now. You guys should yeah. put your tin loop. Yeah. Look, 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 I haven't even put the lotion on. Day six. Just woke up. I haven't washed my face, so I'm not peeling. Normally after I wash it, I start to peel. Oh my god, my eyes are so green today. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to my daddy. Oh dear. Happy Father's Day from California to Texas. La yupa. Night six, just wash my face, no peeling. Day eight, I didn't record last night because I was so busy. So have you made it all the way to the end of the video? That was my face process. Um, yeah, it's so white. I mean, I still have a few dark spots, but it's so much whiter than from what it was like before I started the the peel. I'm pretty happy with the results, honestly. Um. I won't say the price because I don't know if I got like a special deal or that's like the regular price but it was more than 300 so I mean anything for my face I guess is worth it um if you're having problems with your skin or whatever there's always home remedies um, stuff you can buy at the drugstore, all that good stuff, or bad stuff. <laughs> I mean, nothing had seemed to work for me. I was literally trying everything, um, for the past year or so, or year and a half. Like, my face was really, really bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm so happy it's, like, white again and it's not so red. I have a facial... Um, July 2nd, so that should also help, and then I'm thinking of getting a few more things done, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with my face process, but so far so good. Bye guys.